why software architecture is boring today i am going to discuss why architecture is boring and what we can do to fix that problem how we can make architecture interesting put your comment why do you think architecture is difficult what is the biggest problem you face when you start reading about architecture and design the first the the first reason why architecture is boring it's so abstract there is no context you want to solve simple business problems you want to write accounting package you write want to write some program which solves some financial problem of the financial domain and you open this architecture books they are all full of diagrams boxes you arrows pointing to each other there are micro kernel architecture mvc architecture pipe and line architecture with no context to the business problem that you are trying to solve there are a lot of books written in c sharp and java which solve simple problems which shows you how to which shows you how to implement design patterns there are so, there are a lot of books which are geared towards solution architecture so start with those books when i started with design patterns i didn't understand all the design patterns i tried to understand the intent of the design pattern okay there's a factory design pattern what it does it it generates object for you instead of you creating object from a presentation layer you call a library which gives you the object so instead of taking straight example from ganga 4 i implemented these design patterns my own way and some of the design patterns like command design pattern i did not understand initially it took some time for me to understand and when mvc model view controller architecture pattern became very very popular then i understood okay what is the beauty behind command pattern another thing you need to do is subscribe to software architecture channels like me that is my idea about setting up this channel is to make software architecture and design more fun easy to understand so we discuss what what is the first problem the first problem is software architecture is very abstract you take some software architecture books and uh, they don't don't make any sense i attended one architectural sessions and we were discussing security and people started talking about elites how about availability all kind of all kind of elites availability portability and i'm glad um, modern architecture books they focus more on engineering aspect and they tell you not to bulk worry about elites too much because if you are going to make application portable run it on java platform dot net platform it's going to take lot of work and your project speed can be affected if you are talking if you are thinking too much of architectural concerns at the start second reason why architecture is boring is it adds complexity you want to solve a simple problem simple business problem it's easy just write everything in one layer in one file you write your business logic data access logic and done no ai architects comes and tell you that you need to write a business layer data layer and you wonder like why i'm doing all this i remember i was architect on a project so we build up a architecture so we build up some solution architecture where we were using presentation layer business layer data access layer and uh, we presented our architecture to some programmers who were new to programming and like they were saying like why we have to use business layer data access layer it's like you have a remote control of remote control to turn on tv i have to click one remote control it's switch on another remote control and it turns on the tv and i laughed and th that is very true in software architecture 
that is what we are trying to solve we are somebody said in great humor that all problems in software can be solved by use of interaction the only problem you cannot solve is problem of interaction so that, that's very true in the software we do what we do is add interaction over the experience over the years we have seen okay data access technology changes there was rdo then ADO, ADO came ADO.net came data then orm came so database access technology is always evolving getting better so you have to build a layer to isolate your rest of the application from data access technology changes same same way the presentation layer uh, now angular is famous before mbc is famous so you have to protect the rest of your application from uh, presentation layer changes so whenever you see complexity ask your architect why this complexity has been added and ask ask him to show how to do it so if you are not comfortable with dependency injection ask your architect to show you how to implement dependency injection why you are implementing dependency injection again it here comes experience we started writing codes we found it was very hard to write codes code so you have to use dependency injection so that your the code you are trying to test is isolated from the rest of the application it's easy to test the code that way the third reason why architecture is boring is it's not code it's all text boxes arrows pointing to each other so here you have to change your mindset you have to ask yourself would you be coding whole your career don't you want to learn how the big system how your system fits within other systems how it interacts with other systems how it supports the how it is supporting the business unit uh, so it's very important to understand the big context big big picture uh, what you are doing in your company what your business unit is doing in your company how it is integrated with the rest of the business units and same is true same is true about your application how it is integrated with the rest of the application how it's talking to each other applications so friends today we discussed why architecture is boring architecture is boring because it is abstract it adds complexity and it is not core it is about building some diagrams writing a lot of documentation so friends if if you like this video like it share it and subscribe to my channel for your regular updates also connect with me on linkedin and twitter especially linkedin if you like small summaries of the video i will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on linkedin thanks again